Hello, this is Gene. I'm going to do a response to a video I saw today. Um, it was from the Blonde in the Belly of the Beast. And it talks about uh, male feminists and I guess their predilection to sexual something. <laughs> so, um, first of all, I don't really have any opinion about the uh, the YouTube, her um uh, named Blan in the Belly of Beast. She's somebody that's kind of like alt-right, but somehow she finds herself in a lot of the alt-right forums or um, streams or in the comment sections, so I think she understands um, a little bit of the alt-right uh, uh, issues. Um, what I have an issue is is that she apparently thinks she, she knows <laughs> a male nature and uh, she's she said a couple of videos on her channel that I have not responded to um, about uh, trying to get away from beta uh, character characteristics. Um, obviously, trying to make men to be better, to be I guess better mates for the females out there. And she also had one for females as well, so I'll give her that. But her latest latest video and what I can what I consider a uh, a topic that is low hanging fruit. A lot of people have already talked about this. Um, and uh, I just think the way she went around it, uh, she didn't really explain the entire issue that we were talking about. And uh, she totally forgot about uh, other people on, on um, I guess, the right side when it comes to uh, accusations or some sort of um, predator type of uh, issues that they have when we're going after women, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to call her out a little bit here. Um, I guess I have no footprint on YouTube, and nobody will probably ever hear that, see this. But I'm going to say it anyway. And if I said it before, when I see something on on uh, YouTube, even somebody that I might actually subscribe to, if I think what they're saying is out of bounds, I'm going to call it out. And this is what I'm going to do here. So basically, in her video, she pointed to two or three or four failed uh, male feminists that had been accused of either a sexual assault or sexual harassment. And then she basically lumped them all together and said that these guys are typical male feminists like Steve Shives that look feminine in nature, are low T. I don't know how she knows that these people are low T. <laughs> I don't, uh, just because there are a lot of people that are doesn't necessarily mean that they are. And somehow that if you have low T, that means that you're going to do something that they're going to do or what they are accused of. I don't think she understands how that works when there are a lot of quote-unquote alpha men that have been going through um, uh, therapy for low T. A lot of guys in the UFC, um, a lot of athletes have done it. They're on TV right now, like Frank T Thomas. Now, I don't know if he really is, but he, he uh, is out there doing that whole eugenics shit. So... It's supposed to help your uh, low, low T. And a lot of guys that are athletes apparently have this issue. I don't know what that's from. Maybe when they stop working out and stuff, they lose some of the stuff that they have. But just looking online, trying to figure out what low T really is and what causes it. A lot of people say um, it's from smoking. Now, in this country, smoking has gone down quite a bit. So I don't know if that really is a factor. Obesity. Well, 40% of people in the United States are obese. Myself, I would consider myself uh, clinically overweight, which is uh, something below obesity and then below morbid, morbidly obese. So a clear and that might be a correlation to low T. Um, but there's other studies that says once men get married that their testosterone comes down. There's probably a reason why that we're not uh, gathering and, and killing shit. So maybe our, our low T comes down with that. But my issue with this is how she painted men and then she, not only that she said that they had you know they were fat looking um that low t uh that they had this kind of almost like a um uh like a profile of somebody that might be later in life might do something like these guys are accused of and i think that she forgets that there are a lot of people on the right that a lot of people would say they're alpha that if you looked at them you would say oh they must have high t They'd have been accused of the same type of things. <laughs> Clearly, like Bill O'Reilly, he just settled out, what, $32 million to some sort of thing because of whatever he did. 
A lot of people think that Trump has been a harasser or even a rapist. Uh, this idea that only quote-unquote male feminists or beta males do this type of thing is, uh, is, in, is in, um, disingenuous. And it's like they don't understand. And the other part, the part that I don't really understand, is that women make the choices when it comes to people that they mate with. So we don't have a little discussion about why these women are like they we are and why they meet they they peak they pick these type of men. Now she showed these people or one or two of them in her video, and you could tell that these guys are basically a dog to the females. They are uh, almost like Stockholm syndrome. They look like they're abused. And then if if I was doing this type of video and I want to talk about why guys get to that position in life, because I don't believe a guy is just born alpha, born a beta. I think that there is uh, traits that might be through genetics and something, but your culture and how you're raised, whether you have a father in the house, that you understand what the roles are for men. Uh, if your mom is domineering or doesn't love you or something like that, something that all that is, is uh, makes, um, makes you for what you are. Uh, you know, people want to say that genetics don't mean anything. I do. Genetics means something when it comes to IQ. It does make uh, very important issues there. But environment is also very important and not having a father in the house. So if I was looking at this and trying to look at all of the uh, issues of it, I would say, do these guys have fathers in the house? And if they did, uh, was the female in the house, was she's like a feminist? And was, was, he, was the boy taught certain things his life? I was. And I was clearly would have been somebody that maybe she would have said that I was one of those beta orbit, orbitals in my life. I was told that from a young life uh, that I had to make sure that women are taken care of, that uh, women don't lie about shit like this, that uh, if a man, that I was told that all men are basically our rapists. Now, that's not exactly what my mom said to me, but basically my job was to make sure that every woman I knew in my life that I had to protect them from other men because men only think with their, you know, their penises and that's all we do. So in her video, she just put these uh, caricatures of these men and then gave them some, that they do this, that it's their conscious, that they get around women like this and hopefully they get into their, this woman's orbit and then the woman will bring them in. And it's like, that it's like, it's some sort of a, a nefarious thing and I'm like, did anybody, does anybody talk to blonde? I, I, clearly, she probably is like every female that thinks they're, they're, they're hot, let's say. And let me just say this before I go on that. She's okay, okay looking, okay? She's on video. Uh, she's going to get a lot of guys that are say that you look so hot. And she's got this, uh, this uh, um, she believes she's hotter than she is, okay? She's a six or a seven. I mean, she's not, <laughs> she's okay looking. And I'm glad that she's finding some guy that I guess she's who's on high T and maybe she's an alpha and all that. Maybe that's good for her. Live in Idaho and do all that shit, great. But how she just characterized men and doesn't look at the other side of it, that these women are in these relationships and what happened in their life that they decided that they were going to dominate men or, or be the way that they are and what how their environment made them what they are today as well. Um, it's... It's just it, not infuriating, but it's just like when when you, when you want to talk about stuff like this and you don't give it the entire scope of it, there's a reason why people get together. Some of them are damaged when they come together. They come they come together and it doesn't come out very well. But the idea that that there's guys who are quote unquote white liberals like I was in my life, that this is something that we do when we know that probably people like blonde probably had what they say in the med cow community about female nature, that all these women have their own little male harems. And so they use men for resources or whatever else. Guys will just listen to them because sometimes women just want to talk to guys. They don't want to talk to their females, but they talk to men that they'll never have sex for. And they'll never tell this guy that he'll ever have a chance. So when we talk about the friend zoning that goes on in, in real life, these guys are clearly uh, a result of this. And then one day a woman decides to give some sort of attention to them and they have a good time relations together. She started out by showing these two guys together, a female and a man, and just uh, berating the male in this, this thing. 
And then she went on to say all these different people that were accused of sexual assault, saying that this person are not, you're not really differentiating from this guy that you're saying is a, fem, a male feminist that can't stand up for himself, that is submissive and feminine, to somebody that's been accused of, of sexual harassment or assault. That was wrong. It was clearly wrong to put that together. If you want to talk about this, I mean, it's like if I would say, she, I mean, we've all seen the videos with she, Steve Shives and his wife. His wife is all over him, his domination in, uh, domination in their, uh, their marriage. But no one's ever accused Shives of doing anything like sexual assault or sexual harassment. But the other part of this is simply this. People on the right have everybody, they have men on our side to do the same shit. And just being a quote-unquote uh, high T or uh, alpha doesn't, ex doesn't, doesn't explain away how many times that people like this do this as well and rape women and do things like that. Now, overall, I don't believe any of it. Unless these women have reported it when it happened, uh, there's a difference between sexual assault and sexual harassment, of course. Although, what happened with George Sr., that this man at 88 years old touched a woman in the butt, in the butt and she said it's sexual assault, fuck that. I don't give a shit. That's, that's either him doing something stupid or she taking too much out of it. And that's all part of culture and how the media puts shit into it. And how, why do you think that men are like this now? You know, when we talk about our te testosterone has gone low over all this time, people want to say it's because of your ob obese, your smoking, or whatever, or maybe some of the genetics. I don't believe any of that. I think that the, the culture has shamed men so much the last 40 years that some men, some men uh, uh, it affects and it, it messes with the, the brain chemistry and it causes them to be low T. Now, that doesn't mean that they can't be productive members of society. And like I said before, a lot of athletes become that way. They have to go through sort of a, a therapy to get their, t their testosterone back. This is not some sort of way to say that somebody's low T, that they're not a good person, I can't be a good a provider or a good man. Or, or the other part is simply this. Uh, another person came out and said something about all the alphas that we made lost during the wars, at, you know, World War II and World War I. And I'm like, what, only alphas went to war? I mean, this idea that alphas are the only ones that have ever saved anything or did anything for, for anything like that, it's stupid. And the fact that we categorize men like this is stupid anyway as well. I just look at a man at their character and if the guy was going to be there next to me when the fight came to my door. And if they were there, I don't care if maybe that normally they're the ones with the leader, leadership uh, positions. And maybe they look nicer and they, they talk better or something like that. But I want the guy that's going to be with me. And there are a lot of alphas that I've known in my life that were never there when, when the shit hit the fan. You know, people that you would look at now and say, clearly he must be an alpha. I mean, just looking at him, he must be. All these guys in UFC, all these fighters and stuff, they're, they're all alphas, and a lot of them are not. They're SJWs, and they're, they believe things. Uh, it's the, I, What I'm just trying to just make a point here is simply this. When somebody who's a female that comes over and says that, let's categorize men because maybe they're white liberals and some of them are feminists, and then they show, she shows a video of somebody being, quote unquote, being dominated by a female, and then equates it to other female, uh, male feminists who have been accused of certain things. That's not fair, and it shouldn't be allowed for, it should be called out. The other issue is that the, the men, regardless, this is just another thing that the feminists are going to use, that all men are like this, that all men are rapists or potent, potential rapists. And she opens that door for that, saying that basically white liberals that might be feminists, uh, they have some sort of predilection to do something like this. Um, when the issue is that there's more issue to this, why do the women pick these men? And, and why, do the, why does the media and the culture and all that continually shames men for everything? Women are not responsible for anything that they do in any sexual situation. Uh, no matter if the guy is 12, they're still going to say, that this 12-year-old had sex with a 35-year-old uh, teacher. But if it's the other way around, it's rape. Nobody wants to have this conversation. So we're going to just have something that's low-hanging fruit and say that, oh, male feminists are really the bad issues. Uh, and all the good men come out, all these conservative guys come out and say, see, I told you, it's no one on our side that does shit like this. It's all guys like Weinstein and these male feminists or Wheaton. And these guys I don't like. I'm not defending them, whatever they did. 
Come on now. It's more than just that. And if we want to have this com- conversation, let's talk about that women, that, excuse me, that men have had to compromise the last 40 years in this country. All our spaces have been invaded by women. And it's going to cause that certain people like this, they're going to end up being with women, that women are being attracted to them so they can dominate these type of women. And sometimes the guys will might uh, fight out, not fight back, but um, come out of it or do something that may not be, cons- not in their own normal nature. Um, I mean, talking about, yeah, this guy came up behind me and took my hand and tried to have sex with me and something like that. When, I mean, it just, it, it gets old all the time. It says, it's, if it's not just you or the bad man, that it's another part of the, of the sex that are men that are bad men. And these women that finally found somebody after they've had guys just sitting out there on, their, on the end of their rope saying, maybe I'll give you a chance. And they find somebody, then they want to come out and say, well, see, this is what happens to white liberals. And uh, it's really something that they have in their character. And uh, you, know, you should be wary of this, but we won't look at the female nature that, that does this and how culture has changed uh, how females are and how they interact with men right now and how the, uh, the role, the role uh, it, issues have changed so very much. You cannot take away the value of protecting and pro- providing for your, your spouse and your family that when men don't have that value, this is what's going to happen. And when your brain is being bombarded, bombarded by this, by the media, by everybody else, by campuses, by colleges, by studies and often like this, it will affect uh, your chemistry in your, your body. This country is on drugs, like 10% or 15% of the people in this country are on SSRIs. 50, half, half the country is on some sort of patristic drugs. And yet, apparently this is because they're white liberals and they're male feminists that they might have this kind of predilection that they're going to do this to females. But all these different areas, apparently the women in the house were kind of like running the house but apparently if something changes in the, the character of the man, then all of a sudden they're a threat. I just, it just, it's infuriating to hear this, especially as somebody that a lot of people think are smart on this. I don't think she's met anybody in her life that, that she would say that would be like this. But now that she's, she has this nice little platform, she wants to come out and she's just waiting for everybody else said something about it. Now she has to say something about it. And I, I don't buy it. And again, I don't know these guys. I don't like Wheaton's films. I don't like Weinstein. And, you know, okay, before I finish this, just because she talked up about how horrible that Weinstein looked. I'm just thinking that, it is, again, is Trump that beautiful of a man? I mean, he might be somewhat, somewhat attractive in the face, but he's overweight. Um, if he didn't have money and power, no woman would give a shit about him. Same thing with O'Reilly. He's average-looking guy. He has a lot of money. He's on TV. Uh, we can go. We can go all over on, on the right side and find guys just like this. That can we can we test all them to see if they have low T as well? I mean, it's stupid to even bring this up and to say that because they're fat or uh, they're feminine in nature. Or, <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, I I understand that. Uh, whatever. I mean, we could talk about male nature and female nature and all that stuff. And I would say that uh, when I married my wife, I would probably, if you were to classify me, even though I served in the military for 24 years, that I fought certain things, that I would consider myself somewhere between a, a a beta provider and to alpha beta or something like that. Um, I mean, I was very charismatic before my stroke, but I just there were so many good guys that didn't do anything that have been called nice lies all uh, nice guys all their life. A lot of them were liberals, and when it came to um, going to the fight, they were always there on my side. And a lot of guys that everybody thought would be there, they would run out of the fucking place. I mean, look at look at the movie Aliens when he's like, this guy's a a warrior, and all of a sudden we're dead, man. We're not gonna die here, man. There are a lot of alphas that do shit like that. So and. and the low T, the, the low T thing is is it, is it a problem? Yeah, we should probably should look at it, but that's an issue. And also, sperm count has gone down. Now, what's causing that? Is that just some sort of just coincidence that all this is going on? Is it maybe the food that we're eating, or maybe the culture that we're going through, and the media that's just bombarding men that's saying that they ain't worth shit? And then we have somebody like her gets on there saying, "Hey, uh, basically, you're a white liberal and you're a feminist. 
So you might be somebody who does this shit as well. Fuck this. Fuck you. I'm done. You guys have a good day. Bye.